Wow, check out my stack of presents. It's almost like Christmas. Present for me. Oh wow, it's got Sonic on the side as well. It's a Mario time. Who loves games? Yes, mate. Post time. I think the post fairy's just come. This means it's Gaz's birthday. It's my birthday. It's actually Ems's birthday soon, but it looks like Gaz gets some presents. That actually reminds me, I forgot to get a present. Now at the moment, we need to make sure we unbox responsibly. We want to make sure that the packaging is removed in the right way, because we don't know what it's come in contact with. So, I've got to make sure I do this the right way. Ems, can you help? So it's either a massive box of crisps, or it might be one of my first for figures statues. Oh, yes, mate. Oh, yeah. So basically, I don't think I can do unboxings at the moment because it kind of needs to be stripped down right now, but we can sure check out the goods. Yes, mate. Come on, Ems, let's do the next one. Hey, it's Sega time. Nice, we've got Amy. They're actually smaller than I thought they were gonna be, they're like miniatures. And we've got the new first figure Sonic as well. What else we got in the box? Ooh, it's a present for me. <laughs> oh wow, it's got Sonic on the side as well. You didn't show that side of the cap when you were looking at it on the website. So I've done all right. I've ordered loads of cool stuff recently, mostly from eBay, but all kinds of different stuff. And today, Mr. Postman delivered. I've got some of my orders, not all of my orders, but let's have a look at what was in that big bundle pile. First for figures, Crash Bandicoot, OMG. This is so, so cool. The level of detail on this statue, even the base, and it's got the official first figures base on it as well. Um, such good value for money, it's like a nine inch statue. These things are normally about $40, I think they are, from the store. Um, if I bought that direct, I'd have to pay import and taxes, etc. But I managed to source this new boxed, uh, but from another UK seller, got a really good deal on that. So that is fantastic. When you compare that in contrast with what Sega Shop is selling, and they've got their new range of smaller Sonic figures, look at the difference in size. So these, these are much smaller figures. So from the Sega Shop, we've got the Sonic, and we've got the Amy Rose as well. They're quite cool, they're just not quite exactly first figures level for detail. And I couldn't resist, we've also got a new Sonic cap. Absolutely awesome. Hey, check this out. Really awesome. I love the detail on it. It's like Green Hill Zone. Finally got me a Sega cap. I just think I've never actually owned a Sega cap. I've always been about getting the Nintendo stuff, but Gaz has gone Sega. So now we're moving on to some games. So I've got this little treasure. Um, Tony Hawk's has been one of my points of um, vocality at the moment. We've now got Tony Hawk's 4 on the GameCube, so I can get some awesome Tony Hawk's action leading up to the 1 and 2 remaster. Then we got some Nintendo 64 carts, so I've ordered quite a lot of these. I've um, just been boosting the collection as I've got back into Nintendo 64. I'm actually shooting this here on my Nintendo 64 week, but it'll probably be a while until you guys see this just because of how my content is stacked for release at the moment. First up we've got Scars, which is a really cool racing game. Talking of racing, I finally got Beetle Adventure Racing. Now this game is incredible. It's been listed as a hidden gem for a long time. So pick your car. Of course it's going to be a Beetle, uh, but the graphics is so good on this. The frame rate is solid, really steady. 
and you've got a really good selection of environments as well. I really like it. It is Volkswagen Beetles, but the graphics for the time were really, really cool, and it looks like the game plays really well. Finally got myself Tetris Sphere, so that's going to be really cool to try out because I've actually never played Tetris Sphere before. Still trying to work out how to play this game. I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Uh, anyone know? Send help. Then I went and picked up a couple of things that are slightly new for me. So I picked up a copy of Armourines, which is a game that I've never played before. Now the first thing that strikes me with this is how cool the game music is. You've got these two characters you can choose from as well. I wanted to choose the blue character, it looks a little bit like Mega Man, so yeah. I was hardly playing Doom 64, but it looks different. Um, I think I'll enjoy this kind of game, I'm going to give it a shot. And also I've got the legendary Operation Wimback. Now this game is a real gem. So I took a liking to this game straight away. The quality is there. I like the way the guns handle. It was really good. It's a great shooting game, which was kind of like the first time, I think, that the whole duck cover and shoot mechanic was implemented in the game. So I can't wait to try that out. And I've also got myself Excite Bike 64 because I never owned it, never played it. That would be great. Excite Bike 64. So I really like games like this. I do love the biking. Um, it handles really well. I really like what I see of it so far. And then worms. I mean, it's worms. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, I love this game. I'll get some good play on it. And do you know what? I had this on the PS1. I've still got it on the PS1, I think. Um, absolutely love it, but I just thought I want this for my Nintendo 64 because I've always loved Worms games and I think this is one of my favourites. I love the range of power-ups that it's got. So it would be cool to check that out on my Nintendo 64 and it's far easier for me to slap a cartridge into the console rather than go and source the PS1 disc and try and play it through my PS3. So that's everything from my unboxing set of packages and parcels for today. It's actually really warm here in the UK, it's really warm in this window area where I'm filming but that's me for this section of the video and I've got a lot more other stuff turning up so I'm sure in this video you're going to see a lot more. We've got another one, it's finally arrived. Ems, help! <laughs> it's first for figures, Mario time. Oh no, Palestine. <laughs> oh, sick. Really well packaged, I'll give them that. So I kind of like bought this off another retailer. I wasn't expecting it to be in the original kind of box. Wow. Tanuki Mario. Oh, I can't wait to open this. This is my first large first for figures probably probably my last as well because <laughs> i'll have nowhere to put them i am really stoked tanuki mario super mario 3d land oh guys look at the size of this box my first large first for figures statue this guy is like 15 inches tall. I'm gonna to have to find a really good place to put him in my games room. Okay, so if we have a look at the back as well, it's got a cool little Tanuki Mario story. And I've got number 1619. For only 2,500, there's only 2,500 of these that were actually made. Nicely packaged, brand new and sealed. Okay, this is gonna be a full job. I'm gonna need to turn this upside down, I think, to attempt to drop it out. Wow, it's properly scissor sealed. It's properly scissor sealed within its polystyrene case. 
Oh wow, it's even got Tanuki Mario on the polystyrene. So much level of detail goes into these things, so it shows the right way to open it. Ems, can you help? A little bit of help from Ems just to casually find the gap in between the two polystyrene pieces. Just carefully try to open up the tape without destroying the polystyrene everywhere too much. And hopefully we'll have ourselves an absolutely mint brand new condition to new Mario in there. Got a lot of faith in M's for this. What a big A. Oh wow! Wow, he's in like several pieces to assemble. That's actually really cool because I kind of thought that it was just going to be a, a one solid statue. He's heavy. Yeah, they can weigh several kilos, these things. Oh, wow. God, he's actually quite heavy. Oh. So you could actually stand in without the base as well. That gives you a few different options. So I'll pop the tail on the back. That just like pushes him. And then we've got the base here, which is like the proper grassland style Mario World one, whatever you want to call it. And we've got like a shaped piece of material with a pin here. And it's just going to pop into this groove. So I'm just going to try and do this. Boom. Check out my boy. So for scale, the size of my hand, it's a good like two and a half hands or something. No, it's about two, two hands deep, I guess you could call it. So I'm really stoked and I'm proud to present to you guys Tanuki Mario. <laughs> he's huge, isn't he? He's really awesome. He, he's got that kind of whole like brand new fresh kind of fragrance smell going on about him. He's a proper sized figure, like that is what I call a proper statue. Um, I'm really happy with that. So these guys brand new retail at about $200 and then you'd kind of have shipping and in the UK we'd have tax to pick that up but one of the best ways to source these figures is to pick them up by um, a more local dealer or someone that's just purchased them and selling them. You could even get them second hand obviously um, but I got this for a really good price delivered and I'm really happy with it. So I think we found a home for Tanuki Mario. He's just going to sit here on the top, um, looking cool amongst my NES, Super Nintendo and N64 and some of my other little collectibles. I mean you guys know it's a very small games room we got here but I think he looks really happy and when I'm sitting down playing my games, let's check out Tanuki Mario when I uh, play my games on the screen right there. I'm not sure about the angle, I might try him at a different angle, it depends. He looks quite cool looking this way for looking into the room actually. So when I walk in or I walk past, I'll uh, just see him sitting there. Tanuki style. We got my past. I've got a PlayStation cable and I've actually got a beard comb. So here we are, I've got my beard comb. Let's test this out for the first time ever. Seem to be growing it a lot longer than I ever have done before, so I mean it's still pretty short in the scheme of things, but if it grows a bit longer, it should help me to keep it neat and tidy. What's up retro gamers? I am like really happy about this one guys because there's quite a theme on point of some of the things that I've received today. Wait for it. I don't know why I'd enter just like eating my licorice candy sticks, but I've kind of eaten them tonight, so I've just kind of carried on into my shooting space. But we've had some more posts tonight. Yes, mate. Oh yes. His first figures, Spyro figure has come. I am like really, really impressed with the quality of these first for figures. Um, they're everything I hoped they'd be and for some of these I paid like half price of the retail price without even taking like shipping or like Incoming tax type thing if you ordered it directly from like an overseas place 
Um, but oh, Spyro, absolutely amazing. And to follow that up, although I might have had multiple copies digitally over the years, he's finally got Spyro on PS1. Do you know what? I've wanted it physically for a very long time, and it's a game that I never actually owned physically when I was young. Um, I got it for a very good price, complete in box. And yeah, PlayStation Classics. It's time for me to actually start getting back on some PlayStation Classics because it's been a long time. Rolling on to some sports games, and this time he's also got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. So I've now got three and four to keep me busy while I'm waiting for the one and two remaster. Then it's on to my next batch of Nintendo 64 games. Um, a real classic, this one. Probably more on the hidden gem list, probably something that people don't know or talk about that much, but Tarzan is an incredible game on the N64, so I finally picked that up. Welcome to the jungle. So Disney's Tarzan, a um, beautiful looking game, a um, really good gameplay as well. I think this could be quite addictive. It feels a little bit like uh, Donkey Kong Returns. Then it's all somewhat about the Nintendo 64 racers, because He's got himself Wipeout 64. So the first thing that struck me with this game is, man, it is fast. And go, oh, damn, I need some help. Um, this is gonna take a lot of getting used to. The handling is not that intuitive. Um, it's fast. Oh, I need, I'm gonna need a lot of practice. I was not really very good at this. Whatsoever. Help. Brilliant game. I've never never owned a copy of that. South Park Rally. Do you think this kind of is as bad as I expected? Um, you've got to kind of learn the course. This was pretty hard to pick up and play. A game that's probably fairly shoddy, but it's got some cool characters, it's got some cool one-liners on it and it should be a bit of a laugh, it should be a bit of a blast to play. And then he's also got Cruising USA. So it's been a good day I think, I've had so much awesome post. I've nearly got through all the Nintendo 64 games that I think I've ordered recently. I've probably got one or two more on the way but hey it's been good. Probably do some more gameplay of some of these soon, so something there to look forward to. More parcels. We got post. It's another present for Gaz. It's a Mario time. Got another first for figure special. Oh, I can't get it out. What is in the box? Ah ha ha! Mamma mia! So Mario's just arrived and um COVID friendly, we uh gotta wash your hands mate, so we'll give you a little little wet wipe clean. All good. Wahoo! Yes mate.